Hey, are you, you gonna, gonna let me out of here soon? This week, we're making anatomical heart valentines. Ooh, it's getting humid in here. here. Still learning. I love this little card so much. First, you need to find your image online, unless you're really good at drawing anatomical hearts. The image I found comes from the Graphics Fairy. Love that name. Save it to your desktop and open it with Preview. Select the print option in Preview, then set it to print two images per page, setting the scale at 50% so they both fit on there. Print it out, then take it over to your craft table and cut the page in half. Then take out a piece of cardstock and fold that in half. Fold it the other way and back again, then run a hard object along that seam to really make that fold a fold. Place your image on top and use a straight edge and a cutter to cut the cardstock to fit the area of your heart. You can use that other piece of cardstock you cut off for another card project. Next, cover your workspace and spray some spray adhesive onto the back of your image. If you don't have spray adhesive, a glue stick would probably work just fine. Press the image onto the front side of your cardstock, making sure to align the side of the image with the fold of the card. Cut off the sticky overhang pieces, then take your time cutting along the outline of the image. I find it helps to turn the image as you cut, getting into the turns all the way with your scissors, keeping them open as you turn, and cutting when the scissors are in the direction of where you want to cut. Does that make sense? You really want to make sure not to cut the part of the fold that connects the front of the card to the back of the card, where the image meets the fold. Next, use some rubber stamps to add a clever message. If you don't have any rubber stamps, just write it on there. My favorites are, I'm open on the inside, or you are here on the outside. I also use that heart template to create a garland. Just attach the images to different colors of cardstock, make some holes with a hole puncher, and string them up on a thin piece of yarn. And you have a garland that's neato from both sides. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe. Oh, and don't forget.